What's up everyone? It's that white boy from the yard and I'm back at it again with another video. This time I'm in the kitchen as you can see. I will be making the ultimate perfect bodybuilding meal when bulking, when cutting. So thanks a whole lot for watching again and don't forget to subscribe. Again, I'm not a doctor. I don't have any medical degrees. This is just my opinion and how I see things. So thanks a lot guys. Okay, first of all, I'm going to show you guys the ingredients, how many you should use of them and why. First of all, why I use this breakfast year round because it's really easy to digest, really easy to prepare. And within five minutes, that's why I'm a big fan of this breakfast. The breakfast is incredibly nutritious. It probably got everything you need. It can vary in macros. The basics should be good. Good. Like I said, you could do this while bulking or cutting. Play a little bit with the macros, how many grams of carbs, of protein. Okay, first of all, eggs. Five whole eggs. And why do I say whole eggs? Because a whole lot of people are scared of the egg yolks. But let me tell you something, the egg yolk is actually the best part of the egg. The most protein, the best cholesterol, actually all the cholesterol, all the healthy fats that's inside an egg, it's in the yolk. Yeah, I use whole eggs, I use them raw. Why raw? It's just faster, so I don't have to cook anything, bake anything. So a whole lot of people probably are thinking now, what raw eggs, not good, it's your diseases and everything. I've been doing this for two to three years straight and I haven't had any problems. Maybe a little gas, but that, that was it. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to break the five eggs into the blender. The five eggs contains around 35 grams of protein and these five eggs contains around 30 to 32 grams of fat. I think an egg is pretty anabolic itself so... Yeah. Next on the list, our good friend, oatmeal. These are just like instant oats and yeah, probably shouldn't have these refined form of oatmeal, but it's just quicker. It's still incredibly nutritious. And why oatmeal overall? It's because it's a whole grain. It probably has the best fibers to use as breakfast. Oatmeal got great antioxidants. Oatmeal is actually low on the glycemic index. The glycemic index is something that will tell you how fast something will be digested. Actually, carbs like oatmeal meal they are slower digestible so this will keep you saturated longer that's why it's a great idea to use oatmeal it gives you a great boost great insulin spike lowest blood sugar it can keep you saturated throughout the day so that's why i think oatmeal is a great idea you can adjust how much you want in it i will use 50 grams now that's like 30 grams of carbs coming from the oatmeal if you're bulking you could probably easily use around 100 grams of carbs it will be 60 grams coming from the oatmeal now i'm gonna measure it <laughs> 50 grams. Pink Himalayan sea salt. I use salt in my shake every morning. Why I use pink Himalayan sea salt? I really think it helps. There's a whole lot of discussion about whether they use Himalayan salt instead of regular salt. Well, Himalayan sea salt contains less sodium than actual table salt. It has more calcium, magnesium, and iron instead. And it's really great for the absorption of water. Water is strength. It's probably why I use two to three grams. It could give you that little push in the gym, a little extra strength. It doesn't taste salt, it's a little sweetener than actual table salt next chia seeds it's pretty common these days a whole lot of people know about chia seeds why they're good for you but let me tell you something i use three grams of chia seeds very high in fibers just to give a little extra boost of fibers and protein two to three grams Next, we got cinnamon, sweet old cinnamon. Why do I add cinnamon to my shake? First of all, it tastes great. It makes it taste like something sweet, but we shouldn't forget about the health benefits that cinnamon actually got. Also two to three grams of cinnamon. Cinnamon is a great source of antioxidants, it's great anti-inflammatory properties, it reduces the risk of heart diseases, and it sensitizes the insulin hormone. Since you're spiking the carbohydrates at breakfast, you want to keep the insulin sensitive. Since we all know insulin is probably one of the growth pathways of gaining muscle. Again, two to three grams cinnamon. Oh, I can smell it, it's great. Okay, next we got honey. Yeah, I use 10 grams of honey. It tastes great, definitely a better option than refined sugars. Honey doesn't increase blood sugar and it actually helps you lower your cholesterol levels. Also, it's a great source of antioxidants as well. So 10 grams, 10 grams. 
Next, I will just put a scoop of protein powder in it. Why? Because I just want to add a little 15 grams of protein, quick digestible. I just want a little more protein to act fast in my body. So one scoop, you could take any flavor you want. It's also just for flavor. I use an isolate, by the way, though by Exo Nutrition, that supplement company. It's just extra additional protein. Since I wanna spike my carbs, I wanna spike my protein at breakfast since my body's depleted in the morning to get the body up and running. Next, I use creatine. If you use any form of creatine, I prefer monohydrate. You could use any form of creatine. If you use it, you could just throw it in a shake as well. I'll probably put around eight grams. We all know why creatine is good. It's actually made in the human body. It helps with water absorption, helps to create lean muscle tissue. So creatine. I'm going to add 10 milliliters of apple cider vinegar also for digestion, also for its fat burning properties. So there's no reason to skip out on apple cider vinegar. It's a really old recipe, a whole lot of bodybuilders and maybe grandmas using it, used it. So what I always do actually just for digestion, fibers, overall health benefits, I add greens, Italian herb mix, parsley, oregano and basil, put some in there. Again, overall health. Okay guys, so that's about it. This is what I do since I'm on a cut right now, trying to lose weight, trying to lose fat. This is what I do right now. So let's say if you're bulking, you could double the oats so you could easily get 60 grams of carbs trying to gain weight. You need a whole lot more carbs, calories. I suggest to put in a banana. A whole lot of people don't know one banana. It's around 110 calories and could contain 30 grams of carbohydrates. So just by adding a banana, it's great for flavor, fibers as well, and it will increase the calories and the carbs again. You don't mind about extra sugars, extra fats. I would recommend to add a tablespoon of peanut butter in there. Get the right peanut butter though. Not every peanut butter is the right one, okay? Don't get it twisted. You need natural peanut butter. Almost looks like some oil in a jar. That's the peanut butter you want. Just grab a scoop, put them in there. Also a whole lot of calories, proteins and fibers. Okay, in total, this little bit, 716 calories. It's around 55 grams of protein, 35 grams of carbs. So that's it for today's episode of Muscle Cuisine, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Drop a comment down below. Thanks a lot, guys. Much blessings. If you haven't seen the video before, go out to my channel and subscribe what these pills are.